Hi, I'm Tammy Holter, the CEO of Absolute Data Group. Welcome to the second video in our three-part video series on how the Alfry product suite can quickly and easily assist you with your S1000D authoring workflow. In this video, Rita and I will demonstrate how having a configurable authoring environment in Alfry Workbench allows subject matter experts to contribute content without being S1000D or XML authoring experts. Thank you, Tammy. As advised, I'm going to show you how you can use the RFRI workbench to author content for someone who is an SME, someone who's a subject matter expert but does not understand structure. This is my task here, and I'm going to download my data module out of the CSDB. So let's go. So I click on it. It's a very simple, easy process. It automatically launches into my authoring environment. And in here, I have only access to the content that I need to have. And this has been customized to make it look in a more user-friendly facility. So making the assumption that in here, I want to add a new paragraph of content. I can right click and get my new paragraph. Click onto my main paragraph and here's my authoring environment. I go edit. As you can see, I'm just doing a simple type of the content and at this stage I can go, okay, now I want to insert a graphic. So I can click on the RFRI image tool. This launches into my image repository. So it's looking straight into my CSDB and I can see the different images that are available. I can navigate around, find the one that I'm wanting to insert. Let's put this one in. I can then go select file. My graphic has been inserted. Now if I want to be able to see what this looks like, I can click on my preview and my preview window will launch and display and I can see how the content's being managed at this point in time. And we can see our latest graphic has been inserted plus our additional powers of content. So we can quickly and easily see how that's going to look. So if I want to do a reference to another data module, I can put in my content. I can now click on my RFRI data module reference tool. And again, this is going to launch into my CSDB. I can go into the repository folder that I want to view, find the data module that I want to use, and double click. And it will then insert that content. And on my preview, I can do a refresh and I now have my additional content coming through. I can now close this data module or preview, green tick to save and my structure has been built inside my data module. If this was all the work that I needed to do, I can then go file, save and check in, insert the comments about the work conducted and that information is written into the CSDB and go OK. And my data module has now been checked back into the repository. I can now go to my jobs. Here's my task here. I can update this task to say that it is now awaiting review. I can assign it to the person that is required to do the review. So for this one, I'm going to put it back to the administrator and go update. And as we can see, that task has now been removed from my view. And this completes the presentation of how an SME can quickly and easily add content into a data module. Thank you. When you need to deliver mission critical information, ADG's software, training and professional services will assist you to deliver on time, every time. Aerospace, defence, legal or engineering, your requirements are as unique as your organisation. We are smart content. We are ADG.